Riding high on her Squid Game success, model-turned-actor Jung ho Yan has already bagged her next high-profile project, a series directed by none other than Alfonso Cuadón, also starring the famous Kate Blanchett. But what's the project about? What other big names are included in the cast, and when is the series coming out? Let me tell you everything about ho Yan's newest project. First, post-Squid Game project. ho Yan is one of the most talented and luckiest people in the industry right now, and I can't believe that Squid Game was her first ever acting experience. It was highly successful too, so she really hit the jackpot there. The show made history as Netflix's biggest series launch ever. ho Yun's character, North Korean defector Kang se Byuk, is introduced as a skilled pickpocket who joins the games in order to earn money to support her younger brother and reunite them with their mother who is in North Korea. As the series has become more popular, so has ho Yun. She ended up with 23.7 million followers on Instagram and a few projects already under her belt. Fast forward to a few months later, and ho Yun walked runways for and collaborated with Louis Vuitton, graced US Vogue's February 2022 cover, partnered with Adidas, and even received her first Screen Actors Guild Award for Outstanding Performance by a Female Actor in a Drama Series. However, people were waiting for her next acting project. Considering Sebyeok's fate in the show, people weren't expecting ho Yun to be a part of the second season of the show. There were theories going around that her character might still be alive somehow, but nothing has been confirmed by the show's producer. Well, that is until now. No, Sebyeok isn't alive, but the director of the show might bring her back as the character's twin or in flashback scenes. But even if this ends up happening, it'll be a while until we get to see Sebyeok on our screens. I mean, the creator of the show Hwang Dong-hyuk admitted that he hasn't even started writing the script yet. So where does this leave ho Yun? She was extremely talented, extremely popular, and everyone just loved her, so why hasn't she been booked and busy? There were rumors that she would appear in the third season of HBO's Euphoria. ho Yun even visited the set during the filming of the second season of the show and said that she felt very welcomed and safe in the presence of the other actors. She also said that if she was asked to appear on the show, she would agree immediately. But since nothing was confirmed nor announced, fans are still looking forward to seeing ho Yun back on the screen. Thankfully, we didn't have to wait for long as ho Yun's first project after Squid Game was announced. And it's a big one too. The next big thing. A report in December of 2021 confirmed that Oscar-winning filmmaker Alfonso Cuaron has landed his upcoming series, Disclaimer, at Apple TV+. Cuaron is best known for his works on films such as Children of Men, Gravity, and Rome and has developed a reputation for beautiful storytelling paired with technical mastery. Disclaimer will probably continue that trend as Cuaron is writing, directing, and executive producing the show, and he has assembled some great talent to help him bring the series to life. But before I get into the other info of the show, let me tell you about the premise first. Disclaimer is based on the 2015 book of the same name by Renee Knight. The plot revolves around a documentary filmmaker named Catherine Ravenscroft, whose work has been built on revealing the hidden crimes of long-respected institutions. The story starts when Catherine becomes violently sick after finding something life-changing. So what shocked her into that? An intriguing novel written by a widower appears on her bedside table titled The Perfect Stranger. Catherine is horrified to learn that she's the key character in the story, and she sees that it's about the terrible, life-destroying secret that she's kept hidden for 20 years and had hoped was long buried in the past. I don't know about you, but I can't wait until I see this being adapted on the screen. But what other actors are involved in this? And most importantly, who is ho Yun playing in the show? Alfonso Cuaron was in his bag when he chose the cast for this show, as ho Yun isn't the only star that will appear in it. Though the entire cast of Disclaimer is not yet known, its initial announcement should get audiences excited for what else is to come. The series has cast Kate Blanchett as Catherine Ravenscroft, and Kevin Kline as a writer whose work turns Ravencroft's world upside down. Blanchett is perhaps best known for her roles in films like Carol, Thor Ragnarok, and Blue Jasmine, while Kline is best known for his performances in films such as Dave and A Fish Called Wanda. This must have come as a really pleasant surprise to ho Yun, who said that she liked Blanchett so much that she became nervous when introducing herself to her. She also expressed that she wants to work with her in the future, so it's really success after success for her. What a lucky fangirl, huh? Golden Globe winning actor Cody Smith McPhee was also confirmed to join the already amazing cast. Sasha Baron Cohen is also in talks to join the cast, but nothing has been confirmed as of March 20th. While this is all exciting, here's the announcement that really got people thrilled. On March 17th, the producers of Disclaimer announced that ho Yun would be joining the cast and making her Hollywood debut in the first acting project after Squid Game. ho Yun will be playing the role of Kim. Kim is Catherine's assistant and is an incredibly smart, eager to please, and ambitious woman who is ready to seize any opportunity that comes her way. She sees working for Catherine Ravenscroft as a major first step forward in her career and is certain that working for her will lead to her big break. I just know that ho Yun will absolutely eat the role up and that she will bag a lot of awards. Plus, seeing her act alongside big names such as Kate Blanchett and Kevin Klein will be amazing 
amazing, and I bet Ho Yun is going to keep proving to the world and Hollywood just how talented she is. Don't be surprised if you see her in every big project from now on. But I got more info on the series and Ho Yun's part in it. With the novel standing at a hefty 304 pages, the number of episodes of the show hasn't been announced yet. Based on all the shows Apple TV Plus has come up with so far, Disclaimer is probably not going to last longer than 8 to 10 episodes. It's not enough, I know, but this is what we're gonna have to live with. The runtime also hasn't been announced, but it's safe to assume that each episode isn't going to be any shorter than 45 minutes. It's not yet confirmed if the director will diligently follow the events of the book or add any new plot elements. We also don't know just how big Ho Young's role in the show is going to be. Kim isn't a key character in the book, but considering Ho Young's fame and popularity, and the fact that many people are going to start the show because of her, maybe Kwa Dong will make some creative decisions to make her character much more important in the series. If we're lucky, she'll have a ton of screen time and really get the chance to showcase her skills and talent. The release date. No matter how excited everyone is for the show, it looks like we'll have to wait a while before we get to see Hoyeon again. As of March 20th, Disclaimer does not currently have a set premiere date for its launch on Apple TV+. As the project has only just been announced, and considering that the cast hasn't even been completed yet, it's reasonable to assume that there's still a fair amount of work that still needs to be done before the cameras start rolling and before the project comes to our screen. Alfonso Cuadón also doesn't have a good track of completing projects quickly. He has historically allowed some lengthy gaps between directing periods throughout his career, which means Disclaimer could still be a long way off if pre-production takes quite a while. Yeah, I'm really not that patient either, but what can we do? There is also the matter of the cast availability to work on the upcoming series. Specifically, Kate Blanchett has another big name project on her plate at the moment. She is starring in Tar, which is directed by Todd Field and is set to premiere in October 2022. The other cast members haven't announced any ongoing projects, but with how secretive everyone in Hollywood is, you never know what projects everyone is getting involved in. With that in mind, it seems reasonable to assume that audiences will not see Disclaimer until 2023 at the earliest. Moreover, if there is a long production and post-production process, a 2024 release is not entirely off the table either. I'm going to need Alfonso Cuaron to get into that directing chair and finish this project as soon as possible. I can't wait to see Hoyeon again. The public's reaction. Netizens and fans of Hoyeon were more than excited to know that she got cast in another project. Not only that, but she got chosen by an Oscar-winning director and will be acting alongside such big names in Hollywood. I know that Squid Game is considered to be her big break, but it will be nothing compared to the fame and popularity she'll get from this series. Netizens are also considering her to be the luckiest newcomer in the industry since she managed to bag such a big project when it hasn't even been a full year since Squid Game came out. They also think that she has the chance to be the biggest Korean actor in the Western film industry. A comment on an online forum said, I think that she's been the most successful Korean actress in terms of career. You honestly have one shot at life. A Twitter user also celebrated her success, writing, Still can't believe Squid Game is her first acting gig and her second role is with the Kate Blanchett. So happy for her. Isn't everybody? Are you going to be watching Disclaimer when it comes out? What are your thoughts on it so far? Share your thoughts in the comments and thank you so much for watching. Bye!